So we need an emergency video, an emergency video. We have to talk about this right now. So apparently Attack on Titan is getting one more volume with 18 pages of original content. Now, I'm not the type, actually I am the type to sit here and be like, I told you so, I told you, I, okay, I fucking told you guys so. Actually, I don't know if it's fair to say that. I said, I hope. I said, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Because now somebody can pull up the video. I tried to look for it, but guys, I made way too many. So I'll keep looking, but I will post receipts that I said, I don't care so much about the animes AOE because I wanted my manga set to look good. I wanted to have a good ending for my books. I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys have been rocking me with me for that long, but I said I wanted AOE in my books, so that's my food. So Isayama should make AOE in a manga, like a volume 35, and then make AOE for an anime. I said that, and I'm going to find the video. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it, and then I'll post it. Um, in the cards once this is posted, whatever. I will post it, but I will find it. I swear to God, I fucking said this. I swear to God, I said <laughs> Anyways, let's go over what this could possibly mean. This could possibly mean that... Okay, we're going to start with negative. Going to start with negative. You know how people were saying, oh, please don't say anything about Erwin. Oh, God, please don't say anything about, you know, this person who died. Oh, God, please don't say anything about... Freckled Ymir, like, please don't ruin my character now that you're stuffing your toes in your mouth and trying to salvage, you know, trying to rewrite the story, basically, with, that's something Isiyama was doing with his interviews. He was like, oh, by the way, like, <laughs> X, Y, and Z, like, this character, Isayama's like, by the way, yeah, chapter 50, Aaron wanted a kiss, yeah. Yeah, of course. Like, changing all of this shit. Well, I think he said Mikasa, but it doesn't matter. He was changing all of this shit to recontextualize the entire story that we saw, right? We already saw what happened. We already saw what Aaron wanted in chapter 50. And he was going back and trying to destroy characters to make his ending look a little better. So what this can mean on a negative end is that we're going to get more of that. We're going to get more, um, oh, Erwin actually was, I don't know, he was a piece of shit. He didn't care about Paradis at all. He didn't care about anything at all. He was actually suicidal the whole time. The whole show, he was just trying to get himself killed. So he was glad. Like, that's why he swats away the syringe at the end for Sarah Bull, because he was always really suicidal and he never cared about Paradis. He was actually the worst commander Paradis ever had for the Survey Corps. You know, we could potentially get the entire story rewritten with this last volume. And that is the negative end of things. We could get, ooh, a peek into Aaron's brain. He always had a crush on Mikasa. Here is inner monologue that existed at various points. You know, like like the Lion King one and a half or two and a half or whatever the fuck it's called. The, the Lion King one and a half, how it's like, ooh, when Simba was a preteen, he was thinking of this and whatever. Isayama has the chance to potentially do that with Aaron now. Oh, um, here's inner monologue that takes place between war for Shigansina and whatever the hell. Look, oh, Aaron was having these thoughts about Mikasa. He thought she was pretty. He wanted to spend more time with her. There is so much potential for Isayama to reach around and recontextualize the story that we got. The positive end of things is what I said I wanted to happen, but never expected to happen. The positive end of things is what I said I wanted to happen, but never expected to happen. We can get an AOE book and then get the AOE animation. That's what I said. I will find the video. I swear to God. Give me, give me, 
Give me till the end of today. I will find the video where I say that. I said, Isayama, I said, if, if making money is the goal, Isayama should make or could make the real ending for the manga for like a volume 35 or something. And then later on, get someone to animate this volume 35. I said that and I'm going to find it. I'm going to prove, I'm going to prove everything. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I knew which video I said that on, but all you need to know for now is that I said it, okay? On the positive end of things, what we can get is shit that recontextualizes things in a good way. In other words, AOE. Here is where Aaron was looking back into his kid selves. You know, here are the times when Aaron peeked through and manipulated events as his future self, uh, manipulated this present timeline. Does that make sense? There's just so much potential here. I'm genuinely scared because it could go either way. Characters as we knew them could be potentially flipped on their asses. You know, flock. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> we could get an extended epilogue. Oh my God, the farmer. Let us see some romance between his story and the farmer. Get the fuck out of here. It's possible. Anything is possible. I'm shaking in my boots with fear. And I, I won't say I told you so, because I don't think I said, watch, he's going to do a volume 35. I don't think I said that. I said, I want him to, because I care about how my books look, my manga. That's what I care about. So I take, I, I take my I told you so back, and instead I replace it with potential... Potential happiness. <laughs> because AOE via, via the manga is what I would prefer. I mean, I would prefer the manga ended well, right? But since the manga ended like shit, one of the first things I said was, I wish that he would just rewrite the fucking, <laughs> rewrite volume 34. And so maybe that's what he's doing with this quote, volume 35. Here come the AOE bros with the whole... April and the 10 year and 11 years, whatever, whatever, here it comes.